Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. So today I have finally got round to doing another Primark shop. This one is even bigger than the last Primark haul that I did. And I think I did that one about two years ago. So it was about time that I did another one. So just before I went away to the Maldives, I went into Primark to just grab some flip flops that I needed. And when I was in that, I was like, oh my God, there was so much in the store that I wanted. So I said to myself, as soon as I get back, I need to get myself in there and film a Primark call. So I spent about 400 pounds. I spent, I think it was like 385 pounds to be absolutely exact. But honestly, I probably could have spent more, which is massive for Primark, because obviously it's hard to spend a lot of money in there because everything is so cheap. So when I say this is a big haul, it is a big haul. <laughs> so I tried everything on literally as soon as I got back from the shop. So sorry if things are a bit crushed and all that kind of stuff. I also will just point out that I have pulled my calf muscle. So if I am walking weirdly throughout this haul, that is why, because I physically cannot put my foot flat on the ground. It's very annoying, but whatever, just point that out in case you think, why is she walking with a limp? Anyway, um, so with that being said, if you want to see what I picked up when I went to Primark recently, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with jeans, and the first pair that I'm going to try on here, so these are, I kept all the tags on so I could remember the name of them, so these are the Vintage Collection Straight Leg, they are such, I'm obsessed with the colour of this denim, it looks so expensive, and it feels, honestly, there is absolutely no difference in the feel of these jeans to my ASOS ones, my Topshop ones, they're amazing, I'm sorry, but Primark jeans, you, why would you go anywhere else? The only issue that I have with Primark jeans for myself personally is they don't do them in leg lengths. Now I am five foot nine, so they are a little bit shorter on me, which is the only downside to these, because if these were a little bit longer, I would be over the moon. If there's one thing that you take away from this haul is that Primark denim, they're absolutely nailing it. I've got so many different pairs of denim jeans to show you here because I just picked up so many because they're all so amazing. So all the denim jeans I'm wearing in a size 10, just in case you're wondering, these vintage straight leg jeans, these are 13 pounds. Okay, so also from the vintage uh, denim collection. So these are the vintage skinny leg, so high waist skinny leg. Again, amazing kind of blue colour. The feel of these, super expensive. It's a really soft denim as well, so it's not like a hard denim. I didn't feel like I had to really jump into them to get them on. Really like stretchy. So I honestly, I can't speak highly enough of the denim in Primark. It's just amazing. These were £15. Okay, so next pair of jeans, got another pair of high waist denim. So these ones are denim certified collection, I think it would be, and these ones are just the skinny high waisted ones. Again, size 10, and these were 13 pounds. I love the button detail up the front of these, how there's like four buttons. I think that helps to make them look really expensive. And for 13 pounds, these are just an absolute bargain. So again, such a nice color. And also again, the quality and like feel of these jeans is just unreal. So lastly, for the jeans, I've got this pair of paper bag waist denim jeans. I had to pick these up just because I'm obsessed with a paper bag waist. So I wanted to see how a Primark pair would fit. And as you can see here, they fit perfectly. They look really nice. As I say, the only issue with any of these denim jeans that I've tried on is literally the leg length. But it doesn't offend me that much. Like, I would still wear them. I just wish they were a little bit longer. But that's just tall girl problems and something that I forever have to deal with. Honestly, it's so annoying. But anyway, and these ones are £13 as well. So I'm going to come back to all the tops that I was wearing with those jeans later to show you guys a little bit of a closer look at them all because everything I'm wearing is from Primark. So I'll go through them in just a second. I just want to say along the denim front, I've also got this pair of mum style denim shorts. I cannot go over how similar these are to a pair of Zara denim shorts that I have. They fit the same. The colour of the denim is identical. Almost everything about them is the same. The thing I love about these is that they're just the right amount of tightness. Like they don't cling onto the back of your legs or you don't feel like you can't sit down in them because there's nothing worse when denim shorts are just that little bit too tight do you know what I mean and these were 12 pounds I mean can't get better than that really um, and again I'm wearing these in a size 10 in case you were wondering and then the last bit of denim that I bought from Primark was this neon well I don't know if it's actually neon it's more like an acid lime green colored skirt the fit of this, I was just so impressed. Honestly, this denim skirt is insane. And I love it because because of the colour, I feel like even though it's denim, it's more of like a dressier vibe. You could wear it out on a night out. This is why I've styled it with. Okay, so obviously this top is not from Primark. This is an Adidas bando. But I just wanted to show you guys how I would style this outfit. Especially because this kind of look would be perfect for a night out. Or if you're on holiday, it would work for that. You could just wear it with some sandals for more of a casual outfit. But this, I think, with some heels on a 
night out would be perfect. And that colour of the skirt is just amazing and it fits so nicely. And this one again, size 10 and it's £12, so insane. Okay, so I'm going to move on to tops because obviously in amongst all those denims you saw me trying on with a lot of different tops. So they're all from Primark. I'm going to start off with this spotty shirt. This spotty shirt is just, I love this. I absolutely love it. And also I love that it's already cropped. I've said this before, but I love to DIY my clothes and I'm forever cutting jumpers and shirts to make them a little bit more cropped. And this is just perfect because it's the length I probably would have cropped it to anyway. So yeah, really love this. The other thing that I love about the length of this shirt, and I do this a lot with these kind of things, this makes the perfect bikini kind of like cover up. Over a white bikini on holiday, this would look so cute. Imagine it like white bikini, this shirt, white sunglasses, be very pin up girl, but honestly I think it would look amazing. So this was eight pounds and I'm wearing a size 10 in this shirt. Okay, so next up is something from the Primark lingerie section, which is this top here. Now. This top is amazing, but it was a typical Primark situation. I tried it on for you guys anyway because I wanted you guys to see it, but I thought this was a 32C and it's actually a 38C. I picked it up, it was obviously on the wrong hanger because you know what Primark can be like. So basically, as you can see from this clip here, I'm showing you that it's very gapy at the back because I've totally got the wrong size. But I wanted to just try it on so you guys could see it anyway because if I'd got this in the right size, it would have been unreal. And I love the rib detail up the front with this mesh. Looks so expensive and it's got this really beautiful kind of like flower um, applique kind of stuff on the actual cups of this. It's so, so pretty and I don't think anyone would know that it was Primark. So if you get this in the right size, don't do a Sarah and get it in about seven sizes too big. Okay. So this little sequin top I'm going to do next. This one actually just picked it up because I have seen this sequin on so many different websites, whether it's Topshop, in style, misguided. It's obviously like a wholesale sequin that people are buying. But this top was £16, size 10. It's such a bargain, whereas I think these tops, if it has this much sequin on it elsewhere, it would be so expensive. Just tucked into a pair of jeans, I think this looks really nice. It's kind of like the perfect outfit if you're just going out for like dinner or drinks, you know, not too OTT, but something like with a little bit of sparkle. Okay, so next up, I've got this little rust colored wrap around cardigan. The material of this, so it's a ribbed fabric, really, really stretchy, and it's so, so soft. Such a soft cardigan, but it's, well, I say cardigan, it is actually more like a wrap top. But I, as soon as I tried this on, I was like, I need to go back and get these in the other colours. I think it came in black. Definitely came in black. There might have been one other colour. Can't remember what it was. But I just love it. It's such an easy chuck-on top. Looks obviously so nice for jeans. But even if you want to be really lazy and just put this on with a pair of leggings for kind of comfort vibes, it would be perfect. So next up, we've got this loose knit cream jumper with this amazing kind of like open knit I don't even know how to describe it, but you know what I mean. Very slouchy. Um, I love this. It was on a mannequin actually in the store and I like hunted. I was like, where is this jumper? Because I absolutely love it. This knit that it's made out of is also so soft. Like it's such a soft knit. So underneath this, I'm just literally wearing a nude bra. Um, so you can wear anything like white bra. Like you can even wear just like a white strappy top, um, white bodysuit, something just so you kind of aren't exposing your nipples, if you know what I mean. Okay. Still going on the tops. I told you there was a lot, but it was honestly worth it because it was just so much. So I've got this gingham bodysuit here, which is super cute. The only thing I would say with this, so I got this in a size small, but again, would have definitely got an extra small because the fabric has a lot of give. So it's a little bit loose when I probably want it to just be a little bit tighter. This was six pounds, such a bargain. And gingham's so in right now. The only thing I think that kind of gives away that this is slightly cheaper is where the straps are placed. They're placed just like a little bit too far over for my liking. I would have preferred them to sit slightly further over. But it's no biggie. That's just me being super picky with clothing. So as I said, there were so many kind of things for like summer holidays. It was very summery in there. So if you've got any summer holidays coming up, or even if you just want to get it now so that you don't have to spend loads around your holiday going because Primark's just got the best thing. So I've got this white bardo off the shoulder top here. This one again, easy chuck on holiday piece. This could look really cute as a swimwear cover up as well if you just want to put something over. If you've got a bikini top on and you want a bit of more coverage if you're going to the bar or you know, it's holiday vibes. But I just love the kind of slouchy easiness of this top and it's a perfect kind of like boho vibe to an outfit. And this one was five pounds. This was, I'm wearing a size small here by the way. So yeah, five pounds and it's just such an easy piece to wear. Then we have this little strappy snake print top. So I actually took the price off this one, but I remember it being ridiculously cheap. Some of these, I did take the tags off while I was trying them on. This is a really nice kind of, um, that sort of 
uh, lycra silky fabric so it feels really really nice it's got thin straps which I absolutely love on this top and I mean this is the kind of top that you would probably find in Topshop for about £18 and I don't really see much difference between this and a kind of a more expensive high street store version and they did do these tops in loads of other patterns as well there was a red leopard print one I feel like there was a few others okay and then I'm wearing here which is I put with these denim shorts for a serious summer vibe but this is another one of these off the shoulder a floaty little bardo tops. I love the stripe of this one. Again, I just don't think anyone would know this was Primark. It just looks so like almost top shop. It's not it's not a cheap looking top at all. Um, this one was six pounds. Uh, this is a size eight that I'm wearing here. So I also got another top from the lingerie section of Primark, which I must say you've got to check out if you are in Primark, because even though it's lingerie, like you do find these kind of uh, bodicey bodysuits, tops, and corsety things that you can wear as tops. So I've got this pink bralette bodice here, which you know on a night out would be really really cute, and maybe not for a daytime wear because it is slight sexy vibe. I put this with denim shorts just because I was wearing them for ease of this haul. I just tried it on with this, but actually with the blue denim jeans this would look so cute some kind of like gold necklaces that you could layer up some hoops I just think that would look so nice you could even do a bit of a double denim vibe so you could match a denim jacket to the color of the denim jeans and go for, like throw that over the top for a bit of coverage but I love this and I think again it feels and looks so much more expensive than just a Primark bralette okay so next up I got some of these little cropped coca-cola t-shirts Primark's been doing these kind of, I think they must have a collab with Coca-Cola and all that kind of stuff. They've been doing them for as long as I can remember. I love these for holiday. They are so good to chuck over your swimwear, kind of anything. Looks good over a bikini, looks good over a swimsuit. I just love these and also style so easily with a pair of denim shorts. This is a size large, I think I got this one in, yeah. So this was a large, this was eight pounds. And so yes, I think if you want a more of an oversized look like the one I'm wearing here, go a size, go a few sizes up. And then they also had this grey mull cherry coke one, which again, similar vibe and just looks perfect over denim shorts. And again, perfect for swimwear cover-ups. Just easy throwing things in your suitcase if you're going on holiday and you just want some added extra things to wear. Okay, so this next t-shirt was really just because I have an absolute obsession with it. I was doing, I was shopping for my Primark haul with Becky and she was like, Sarah, you need this top. And I was like, what is it? And and she lifted up this and I was like, oh my god, I actually do. So it's, I think it, I don't think it was pajamas, I think it was actually a t-shirt, but I just love it and I love the stripes, I think it's really cute. So I've just worn it here with some jeans and I've just tied a knot in the front of it and then tucked it under so that it kind of creates a bit more of a cool cropped vibe to this t-shirt. But if you're a Friends fan, I think it's just a bit of fun. Plus this one was, this one was five pounds, bargain. And I got this in a large as well, just so it was a bit looser fitting, so it wasn't super tight. Okay, so just before I go on to the dressier items that I got in Primark, the last thing is this oversized white sweatshirt. So this is from the male section. This was six pounds. This is an extra large that I'm wearing, so it's one of the male sweatshirts that they do in loads of different colors. But it's perfect, I love, oversized sweatshirts and I love a white one so yeah really pleased with this and it looks so cute over denim shorts especially for you know those spring days that hopefully will come up very soon when it's not warm enough to go out and just like a top but wearing a jumper with shorts actually is perfect here I've styled it with those denim shorts but I also have just put over this orange bag with it so this is obviously from Primark as well I love this bag I think it's got a very kind of Valentino look to it because of these square studs along the front of it and it's a nice kind of addition to an outfit like this because it just adds a pop of colour. Okay, so moving on to slightly dressier things. I have this black jumpsuit here, which I think is just going to be such a staple in my wardrobe. It's just such an easy piece to chuck on and wear. Really kind of like loose fitting, super comfortable. So it's got this tie waist that you can do up around the middle. It's also got a popper button, um, so you can pop it over if you want a bit more coverage, but I quite like the plunge look. This is just an easy kind of throw on. You can almost even wear this, something like this to the airport because it's so comfortable if you're going on a summer holiday. I have just put around the middle of this though my Tommy Hilfiger belt. Just wanted to show you that you can kind of style it up to make it look even more expensive. Just something, and these utility style belts are everywhere at the moment. Loads of different brands are doing them and I just love the look of them. I think especially around a jumpsuit that's got that kind of utility look to it. They work perfectly. So this is a size 10 that I'm wearing and this one was £15. Next up I've got two matching suit set things. Okay, so the first one is this black and white checkered um, suit. I'm just going to show you the top first. So I'm wearing this little bralette with it, but it comes with these kind of like strappy things over the front. 
Now don't be afraid to DIY your clothes. I am forever cutting things like this off bralettes because I just prefer them without. And I really liked this bralette. I liked that it was just kind of simple and lacy, but I didn't want the strappy things on the front. So I've cut them off and it's just a nice addition to this outfit just to style with it. So as you can see, just the bralette and the pants look really cute together as an outfit on its own. But obviously it's got the matching blazer that you can chuck on over the top. And I love the kind of ease of this styling. It's such a simple outfit, but it looks like you've made quite a bit of an effort. Do you know what I mean? The trousers were 13 pounds. The label has actually come off the blazer. I can't imagine it was any more than that for the blazer either. And I'm wearing a size 10 in both of those. And then the bra, it was a size small, but I've lost the tag of that, but it wasn't expensive. Okay, so last up for clothing and last up for matching suits, we've got this amazing stripey, multicolored stripe one. So this suit I've styled with this black lace body. This one's actually from Gooseberry Intimates. I just wanted to show you guys how I would wear this if I was going to wear it out. Now this suit comes with its own flimsy little belt, but it was one of those annoying ones that doesn't actually stay done up. So I've just removed it and added on a Primark belt. So this black belt's also from Primark, just around the middle. It also helps to maybe give the outfit a slightly more expensive look by changing the belt out. Love the oversizedness of the blazer that matches this. I just think it looks so nice. But it's also, if you were to wear this in the summer, you could get away with just wearing the bodysuit and the shorts. So it's quite nice because you kind of get like two outfits in one, which is good. So the blazer was £20. I'm actually wearing a size 12 here just because I wanted it to be that little bit extra oversized. And the shorts were £10 and I'm wearing size 10 in the shorts. Okay, so lastly, I told you this was going to be a big haul. Thank you if you're still sticking with me because it is a big one. I'm going to move on to accessories. So I'm going to start off with, first of all, is this little basket bag. These have become so, so popular. They were kind of coming in last summer and I feel like this summer they're going to be just as big. I love them. I think they're really cute. This was actually... Becky and I were quite surprised because this was probably one of the most expensive things. So this was £20, which for Primark and for a bag seemed like a lot of money in comparison to some of the stuff. But it's quite... It's a solid quality, it feels really good. So no, I love that, perfect for holidays, just put some like sun cream, you know, sunglasses, anything you need for the beach. Then I got some more belts, so these ones are just these kind of like duo packs that you get. So I've got a black one and then a snake print one, handy to have. I'm always looking for like a thin black belt to go around things, so I thought that would be perfect. These were three pounds. Then I also got some headbands for holidays, kind of go over swimwear, accessorize swimwear, things like that. This one was super cute. So this is like a mustard yellow color with white flowers. I mean, what? how much was that one? That one was two pounds. And I mean, you can be spending up to like 10, 12 pounds for these other things, maybe even more in other shops. So Primark's really come through with the bargains. And then same style, but I just got this one, which is like pink and it's got some flowers on it. And then I got this plain black actual headband style one. Um, so no, so really handy things to just have to accessorize your outfits with. Then I've got a few little bits of jewelry here. So I picked up this little S necklace, which is so similar. I can't for the life of me remember who the designer is, but there is a designer that does necklaces like this and it's basically a copy of them. And this was two pounds. So yeah, they've got loads of, obviously they've got all the different initials in the Primarks in case you wanna go and get one for yourself. Then I got this set of gold hoops. So this was £1.50. So on this, you've got a plain kind of gold hoop and then you've got a slightly textured one. And I just love a pair of gold hoops. I can never have enough, mainly because I wear them once and then seem to lose them. But at least when you're only spending £1.50 on them, you can go and stock up. And if you lose them, it's not so much of a big deal. So yeah, really handy to have kind of a lot of those. And then I also got this layered choker necklace, which will look amazing over swimwear or just with like plain bodysuits. I love this. I've been looking for one like this for so long as well. So I was really pleased when I found it. So I just got two more bags to show you. So I picked up this rucksack. Thought this would be really handy. And I love the quilted. I mean, how expensive does that look? I'm so, so impressed by that. I love the little gold stud details in it. Even this little tassel just adds to kind of like make it look a little bit more expensive. This was 12 pounds. So I was obviously kind of obsessed with the orange bags that were in Primark at the moment because I also picked up this one which has got um, a quilted look to it as well. Just get rid of that paper so you can see it properly. So yeah, so it's got a quilted front pocket there and then a zip pocket and then it's got a shoulder strap as well for this one. But I just love the orange colour. I feel like when a bag is a really bright colour you can get away with it being slightly cheaper. It doesn't look as cheap, if you know what I mean. So this was £8 and just handy for holidays or you know just easy styling over the top of jeans things like that okay so this one was a super super random purchase we've got a mini mouse handheld makeup mirror i mean 
I'm obsessed. This was six pounds. I'm gonna open it up so I can show you guys what it looks like. But I know whenever I'm doing my makeup tutorials, you guys are always like, oh, where's your mirror from? And mine's a benefit one that I got given um, by the PR in a PR package, so you can't actually buy them. But this one is so similar. So it looks like this. So this is obviously the mirror side to it. It's so cute. And this one was six pounds. It's just handy, like a little travel mirror. And I'm such a sucker for anything Disney still. Don't think you ever grow out of Disney, really. And then obviously it would not be a Primark haul without their packs of thongs. These are the best things ever invented in the whole entire world. If you don't own a pair of Primark thongs, who are you? I feel like you can't trust people that don't own Primark thongs. Number one, they are literally the most comfortable underwear I own, but they're also the most flattering thongs to wear. I feel they just look amazing, they really do. So, and they're what? How much are they for three? Can't imagine they're much. Three pounds, a pound of thong. Amazing. And then I got a pack of these um, invisible socks. These were five pairs for £3.50, super handy for the gym and things like that. And then I got a pack of hair ties because mine go missing. I'm hoping that my bobby pins and hair ties are all happy together wherever they might be. Honestly, I don't understand where they go. Like, where do they go? I feel like it's just weird. For this entire pack, this was one pound. Okay, guys, that is everything that I have to show you. I told you it was going to be a big one. But honestly, Primark absolutely nailing it right now. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed watching and that you've seen some things that you might want to go out and get for yourself, especially seeing as they're all such bargains. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this and make sure you let me know below if you're going to go and buy anything. And also let me know what your favourite thing was in this haul because I love knowing what you guys are loving. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys